where we hope to watch the eclipse from. Pacific Ocean and a couple of islands. We're in Mazatlan. <laughs> Very cool. You have to plan for an eclipse about a year before it happens, and the reason we chose Mazatlan because we looked at the normal cloud fraction over that portion of the eclipse, and it was twice as good as anything in the United States. So basically we decided that it's like you have to lose two coin flips not to see it versus just a single coin flip anywhere in the United States. I think it's crowded. I think there's a lot of people so, here. Something must be happening. Yeah, it seems like it might be. From when the eclipse starts, it takes about an hour and 20 minutes to get to the totality. So you have some time watching it, but you have to watch through eclipse glasses to save your eyes. We're in Mazatlan, about to see an eclipse. We are. It's pretty awesome. In four minutes totality. Four minutes, baby. Four minutes. We're on the tenth floor of the Costa de Oro. Total eclipse of the sun. The totality of eclipse is definitely something everyone needs to see. I got a bunch of pictures. Um, I wanted to get like this. Oh, and Mazatlan waking up. So the weather definitely didn't cooperate in the afternoon. Thankfully, the eclipse is over. And clear skies are gone. Now we have a little overcast, so it's not too hot here. Perfect timing. And the high school bands have started playing. This was just a quick report of the total eclipse. If you're interested in seeing what else happened here in sunny Mazatlan, come back. You can like, subscribe, and then we'll show you more of our wonderful trip here to Mazatlan. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you later. Bye.